My name is uh, Edmond Yakani, Executive Director of SEPO. I would like to take this opportunity to call upon the leadership of the National Ministry of Environment and Forestry, Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, and the relevant committees in the National Parliament on Environment and Forestry, Agriculture and Food Security to undertake a robust study on this large scale illegal logging taking place in some part of the country and mainly Kajukeji County and some parts of Western Equatoria state. We are concerned about the ongoing large-scale illegal logging of timbers and teak in some parts of Central Equatoria state as I've mentioned, Kajukeji and also we have Lanya in terms of teak. This is having a huge climate implications. His Excellency President was recently in COP28 in which environment and climate is being picked up as a top global priority where government have to commit themselves to it. And now here in South Sudan, we see illegal logging in some parts of the country is taking place and there's a total silence about it and that have implications on our climate, have implications on our agriculture and directly have implications on our food security and this may lead to a deadly violence that we have seen among our communities and or we have seen the negative implications of climate change in causing havoc in our communities, migration of cattle herders going back to parts of farmers and where they clashed and we have seen also a serious migration of cattle back to Kajukeji and to some parts of Ekotura where it violates the president's order for the return of the cattle and these are all climate environmental related issues that require the relevant ministries to undertake a serious study and come forward with the solutions of reducing deadly violence among the communities. We are worried that if we don't address climate change related issues, our communities may have other factors of armed deadly violence. And already we have seen the tension between pastoralists and farmers in some parts of Equatoria, Magui, Kajukeji, and some parts like Torre recently. And this is going to be worse because we have seen a huge migration of cattle herders well armed to the communities of the farmers. And I think the relevant ministries environment and forestry agriculture and food security then partnership with the ministry of peace building need to undertake a serious study this is a call for national stability this is a call for promotion of peaceful coexistence among our citizens this is a call for protection of our social public not to be broken more than what we have experienced due to the 2013 crisis thank you